this video, I am going to be putting on a new, new grip tape for the front foot pad, which if you have never done this before, there's some really important pointers you need to follow uh, as to how you go about doing this. This is a Pint X, and um, this grip tape actually was sent to me as a matching that came with this um, rear foot pad I ordered from Craftman. I believe it's a float like foot pad, um, but they did send the, the matching front foot pad as well. So that's what I'm gonna put on. So you're gonna need a few things before you get started if you're gonna do this. And again, I'm gonna emphasize something very important as I'm going through this. This is the front foot pad, which has the sensor on it. So if the sensor is damaged, that can wreak havoc on how your board handles and rides and create other problems. So it's very important that the process that you go through to remove the existing grip tape is done very carefully. And I'm gonna go over those steps with you as I go through it. First thing I'm gonna do is heat up the front foot pad because what I wanna do is soften the glue. Underneath this grip tape is another plastic surface and that plastic surface can actually peel up. And if that starts peeling up, that means you are taking off your sensor. You're actually removing the sensor cover, which is very bad in that you'd probably have to order a new foot pad if you damaged it. And that can cost you, you know, a couple hundred bucks. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and remove this right now or uh, heat this up first. So, second thing, just before I do that, want to make sure that you have a something that you can gently begin to pick this up. I prefer to use my nail just because it's more, um, I can feel a little more and that I'm not pulling up something else. There's also a little tip I'll give you as I'm peeling this up to, to determine if you are pulling up the plastic that's underneath or not. I did that for about two minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and just gently and I can see and it's very easy to see that the I don't know if you can see this on this camera but that sensor see that sensor started to come up right away and it's very difficult to tell but the way you tell is that when you're peeling it up as I was you could see that the sensor was coming up is it's stiff and when it's just the grip tape it's actually quite soft and I'm just putting some pressure my arm here on the wheel to hold this getting a little bit of leverage and I'm gonna go across the whole top first I'm just gonna go across the top I'm gonna go a little bit at a time just being very delicate and then what I want to do, so I want to basically just start pulling downward. And notice how close I am. I don't want to pull up. Naturally, you kind of want to pull the tape upward and just start pulling on it. Pulling it downward like this. And then this way I ensure that I'm not peeling up the foot sensor. And if you, you know, if I noticed that it was getting really difficult to pull off, I would probably, and I might even do it here if it gets too tough, I might pull the dryer back and um, go one more time just to soften it up a little more, but I think it's okay actually. It was a little sticky and a little tough in that middle spot, but it's coming off. Again, I'm just going straight down. Being sure to, again, fold this over. I'm just leveraging my palms on this and I'm 
pulling, and this is actually a really clean removal. You can see that there's really no residue. And so that's what it looks like when it comes off. Now this has a, a center point on it. Uh, so I know this was the original foot pad. If you own a Pint X, you know that this is how that comes. The new, new pad does not have that. That's okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, not, I'm not gonna waste any time. I wanna get this on right away. I don't wanna get any particles or any dust. So I'm actually gonna remove the entire now, some people do this a different way where they start off on a little spot and they kind of move it. But I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the entire thing and then just gently start moving it into place. Oh, that's annoying. Got like a scraggler piece here, just kind of sitting. Okay, good, I don't wanna ruin it. So, okay, so I'm just gonna exactly match this up. I'm gonna start on one side, just get that perfect, get that perfectly lined up, and just drop that down. And I already went, I went a little faster than I wanted to on that. As you could see, I just kind of dropped. I was gonna gently move my way up and pat it down. But right now, I mean, that dropped right into place. And you'll see, I, I actually started on this side, so you probably can't see as well. But I just dropped right on this corner. I dropped it right in. Now, again, ideally, I would have dropped it and started rolling it down and just patting it as I go. I don't see any air bubbles. I don't see any problems. If you do get tape and you do get an air bubble or something like that, the tip that I, I haven't had to do this before, but the tip that I have seen is you just take like a little pin and you pop the air bubble and you just push it down. It'll push the air out. So you don't have to you know, replace the tape again or do anything like that. But this should, this is a nice clean, nice clean install. And again, I wanted to replace it really fast because I didn't want any residue or anything else getting on the, um, any dust, you know, or particles or anything getting on the surface, but this should be good to go. I'm gonna test it out. The only concern I had, because I actually haven't used, I haven't installed this specific grip tape before. And it's a bit thick, and I'm hoping that it doesn't create any problem with the sensor. I don't think it will. I don't know why they would ship it. If it would create a problem, that would be a little bizarre. I'm going to put this back on, though. This is my magnetic craft and ride. And, uh, that's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, let's give it a test ride. Let's make sure that, uh, let's make sure this thing's in good shape. You just see, I'm just pressing down because I just wanna make sure this thing is really seated. I don't want any chance that this thing starts peeling up. All right, thanks for watching guys. Hope this was helpful.